Hey everyone, and welcome back to Lazy Brain History. Today, we're diving into a rather unconventional idea, the mud fossil theory. It is linked to the mud flood conspiracy, which suggests that many historical structures were buried in a sudden deluge of mud. The theory claims that many of the geological wonders around us are actually the petrified remains of colossal ancient beings. Sounds wild, right? Let's explore what this theory claims and look at some of the examples. The core of the mud fossil theory is that under catastrophic conditions, massive creatures were rapidly buried in mud. Over time, instead of undergoing typical fossilization, where organic material is slowly replaced by minerals, these entire bodies turned into rock. Proponents argue that we can still see the original anatomical structures, eyes, organs, bones, within these rock formations just on a gigantic scale. What kind of evidence do mud fossil theorists point to? Well, you might have heard of Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Some mud fossil believers see a silicified stump of an enormous ancient tree where the vertical columns are evidence of the tree's internal structure. Another example is the Great Sphinx of Giza. Theorists claim that once it was a giant creature killed by a spear in the left eye and then covered in mud during a great flood. Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland and the Uluru Rock in Australia are believed to be the petrified remains of giant creatures that died in a catastrophic event. Now, it's important to understand that the mud fossil theory is not accepted by the mainstream scientific community. Geologists and paleontologists have well-established explanations for the formation of rocks and fossils. Fossilization is a complex process studied for centuries and geological formations are understood through plate tectonics, erosion, and other natural forces operating over vast periods of time. So there you have it, a quick look at the intriguing but scientifically unsupported mud fossil theory. What do you think? Do you see giant creatures in the rocks around you, or do you stick with the traditional geological explanations? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations of our world.